morning, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Happy Sunday to y'all. I'm going to go on and do the first video in the living room, and this one is of John's Vintage and Antique Noisemakers. Some of the early ones that actually have a patent date on them are the early 1900s, which puts them at way over 100 years old. And these especially are the ones that are so hard to find now. I'm so thankful that we collected all of this vintage and antique Halloween years ago when we did. It was a little more plentiful and a little cheaper. Vintage and antique Halloween has always commanded high prices. And now I think a lot of it is just outrageous. So I'm thankful we have the pieces we have. So let's get started and I'll show you this wonderful collection of John's. I'll show you all of it, give you a little view of all of it. And then we'll look closer. There's that little um, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde leather book. I just love that. Of course that came from a yard sale. I'm going to stand up and give you an over overview of everything. And then we'll look at everything closer. I did keep that huge, wonderful antique ironstone platter out, and I put the uh, noisemakers on it. But let's get started right here. These are so cute with the cats and the witches. And they're in a little antique box that we got at a yard sale years ago. It does have dovetails. Look at this cat back here with the pumpkin. And I love the owl on the moon. Those are ratchet, what they call ratchet. It has a wood handle on the back and you turn it. These are ratchet also. And there's the owl and the pumpkin. And then I'll look down on all of them so you can get an overview. We'll start over here. This is this antique candy box that all of these particular noise makers are in. And I have this book, The Ghost of Windy Hill, and that is 1968. Look at the cat. And that's a Halloween party. There were so many of them. And John and I both wish we had some of the ones we had when we were kids because I was born in 47 and he was born in 43. And I can remember going trick-or-treating from as early as four or five years old. So if I had some of those and John did, they would be really valuable. Plus, they would be really special. And honestly, I don't even remember which ones I had. And I'm sure John doesn't either. But it would have been nice to have still had them. And there's a clicker. I love that big owl clicker. But just look at the detail on these. The cat with the pumpkin and the moon face. And as I said, the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And then this one is really special. This is U.S. Metal Company. And it makes a lot of noise. And right here, this is a Walmart, one of the Walmart cats. I'm not sure whether this was last year or year before. But everybody loves the Walmart cats. They're a little bit different each year. And they are really cute. And like I said, I can't remember which year that one is. Um, and it's sitting in my little copper compote. And that's a little Johanna Parker light that I've had for years and years. And then I really enjoyed figuring out this display. 
This is where some of the older ones are and the more valuable ones are. We'll look closer and I'll show you the older ones like I did last year. This one right here, I don't know whether you can, let me find the patent date and then I'll see if you can see it. This one is 1916. And it is wonderful. See, it's got the flying witch and then the owl and the bat. That's a great one. And this is another one of the party ones. There's little clickers everywhere. And then this one here, this is another one of the super old ones. And the patent date is November 27th, 1928. This one here with the dancing couple, that one, and I'm not sure why, but that's a really valuable one too. And I love the cat. And this witch, I think, is actually really creepy looking. And look at the cute graphics on that. Just adorable. And this is another one of those wonderful party ones. That's Cheen. Some of the makers of the Halloween noisemakers were Kirchhoff, U.S. Metal, Cheen, and like I said, then some of them are Germany. I think those old, one of those old ones, I think, is Germany. I think this canister one might be the German one. And this, you turn that little handle and it's like a siren, and it is super loud. And that one was a hard one to get. There's another large clicker and a small one. And then here is another one of those pieces. Let me see if I can pick it up and show you the back of it. See, it's a ratchet too. These flat ones that look like a frying pan, those are called pan noisemakers. But I really wanted to share this collection. This is one, the noisemakers and the tambourines. Well, it's hard to say what's John's favorite. He does love the noisemakers and the tambourines and he loves those paper mache cats too, the lanterns. So those are some of his favorites. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this collection. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take time to do something fun, even if you're having to work on some projects or work at a real job today. We love you, and we appreciate each one of y'all, and thank you again for being here. And I do have two friends channel that I want to uh, recommend, and I will put them in the description box, but one of them, you know Stacy. And her decor is wonderful, and she's just started on her Halloween. So she does have a Halloween tree video up, and I'll, like I said, I'll put all the information for these two friends in my description box. And please check them out. Love and blessings to y'all from me and John and baby boy. We'll see you again soon. Till the next time. Bye-bye.